Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and it feels like it's been forever and a day since we've done a PC build, but hey, we're building a new video editing system and maybe presentation system for Ashbury United Methodist Church, which we're getting ready to do and head to to do the install tomorrow. But hey, I want to go through the parts and talk about it because again, this is going to be dedicated to video editing and we're going to um, put it through his paces to see what he can do and we're trying out some new stuff here which i'm excited about this is the first build i'm going to get a chance to mess with the ryzen 7 5700g just like the ryzen 5 that we've done before but it has more cores and more threads and more power and honestly i think this is going to be a beast for video editing now um we're going with a gigabyte b550 gaming X version 2 motherboard full ATX case so that if this is not powerful enough we can always add a GPU to it. I, that was the task that I was going to put in here originally but then um, those graphic cards have sold out so I can't get one in time for this install so that's why we went with this. Still a powerful CPU and the GPU will give us enough horsepower as well. We are going with a um, silicone power 512 gigabyte NVMe for the OS drive. Actually, no. The 512 is going to be for the cache drive. For I'm going to install DaVinci Resolve on here, so have it point to this, but you use Premiere, whatever. It can go here for the cache drive for that. We have a one terabyte drive for the OS. We're going to put Windows 11 on here. Currently, right now, we're starting off with 16 gigs of DDR4, I believe this is 3600 um, megahertz for memory. We can always expand that to 32. And I also have a, I'm gonna reach it, oh, a four terabyte old fashioned mechanical drive for storage. Now, my power supply is supposed to be delivered here today. It was a day behind. It is a EVGA um, bronze certified 600 watt power supply, which would be more than enough power for what they're using. And we're gonna put it all inside of the Fantex P400. Love these cases. I'm gonna have a whole lot of space to do it. So let's see if I can put this all together in time because I have an appointment that I need that's gonna take me an hour to get to. So let's go ahead and let's start the time lapse and let's get to building. folks so the system is done i got everything installed i completely forgot to go get a keyboard and mouse because i was going to get that locally um i went to the store and got monitors but completely forgot about the keyboard so i'm gonna have to get that on my way up to maryland tomorrow but we got everything installed and the beauty of this is i'm actually gonna edit this video on this system but um again very nice specs. I wish I had my full keyboard so I can actually do this. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to bring up the specs of what the system is. So I'm gonna have to just do it the old fashioned way. Hopefully I will blur out the stuff that doesn't need to be on here. But it is a Ryzen 7 5700G. Let's go to the task manager and Let's expand this out and let's change this. And let me actually bring this closer so you can actually see. All right, so as you can see, there are 16 threads on this system, um, eight cores. We got 16 gigs of memory, three hard drives, um, more than enough power. Like I said, um, I guess I could do the old school I guess I could do the old school stuff and actually download, I don't know, maybe the um, 
I don't know, three mark. I haven't messed with that in so long. But maybe we can just play around with it. We also got the ATEM that they're going to be using connected to this as well, too. So we got all of the software in place. And I'm actually copying over my drivers right now. Um, and actually, I'm going to copy this in two locations. I'm going to edit this on my main Ryzen 9 system that has a RTX 2070. And I'm going to edit it in this system as well, too, and just see what the performance is. And that reminds me, I think I need to pull down Presenter as well just to make sure I have everything. Because if they don't use it, then I can just uninstall it when I'm there tomorrow. But let's go ahead and copy over my files. And I'm going to um, see if I can... I guess I need to copy the screen in some way, shape, or form so that y'all can see the performance of this. Maybe I'll do a before and after. I'll edit it on my computer, copy everything over here, and then edit it the exact same way, render them both at the same time, and then see what the performance is on how long it takes to render both. So let me get Presenter installed. I'm going to set up this video to edit, and then... <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna edit everything except for the very ending, and then we'll see how that all performs. So I got my mic out because my neck kept coming, <laughs> rubbing up against the microphone. So sorry about that. Um, but in the editing, my Ryzen 9 system using the processor for rendering, not the graphics card, took 3 minutes and 40 seconds to render this 6.5 minute 4K video file that you're getting ready, to, the first part of what you saw. On this system, it took seven minutes and 39 seconds, so four minutes slower than the Ryzen 9. Um, you know, in comparison, hmm, how many people, again, even though technically I don't think they're going to be rendering anything, um, editing anything to 4K resolution, but the fact that I can knock this out in seven minutes, um, I think that's pretty good, you know, especially if I was rendering this out in for, um, 1080p, I guess I maybe, why don't I try and do that while we're talking? Let's edit this whole thing out again while I'm talking and I'll do 1080p and not drop my <laughs> control for the camera. Um, let's go ahead and make another clip that's in 1080p at 2997 because this is the same project that I pulled over from the system and let's go ahead and try and render this now and see how long it will take while we're talking um, but again you know the good thing is if we threw in a GPU could rent could it render faster most likely um, I am I did get it configured to where it's using that cache drive for space um, and I guess Actually, I'm sorry, let's actually do this, because I think, yeah, because I think one advantage, disadvantage that I think I just noticed, so my bad, is that it's rendering to the cache drive, um, because I have another SSD on this system that I can render my files to that actually goes faster, so my bad, I messed that up. But again, I mean, we're at, 
at 1080p already. And I'm thinking we're gonna be able to clear this in the same amount of time that I did this 4K file at. But again, I think the fact that whatever is coming off the ATEM is gonna be 1080p, 60 frames a second. Um, could they upscale it? Yeah, they could. But I think that this will still give them enough horsepower to do the type of editing that they need, whether it be editing the full service, um, making cuts from the service that are coming from the ATEM that's been recorded, and then it can just be pulled over into the system. Um, you know, taking little blurbs and making it for either TikTok, Instagram, whatever platform that they want. I think this will be more than enough. And again, because we have an ATX motherboard, ATX case with plenty of, how many slots are inside of here? Um, it's one, two, got two additional PCIe 16 slots. So you could add another um, full GPU if you really wanted to get some more power out of it. I mean, ultimately, if you really, really, really wanted to, you can always take that CPU out, put something faster in there, up to a Ryzen 9 if you wanted to. Obviously, you need some water cooling on this. Um, I was really surprised that they had such a small fan included, CPU fan included with this processor. But um, from a standpoint, I can actually hook up two monitors out for this, so one of these is actually gonna go into the ATEM, which I guess I should have set up when I was doing this. Um, let me scoot this back. And I kinda, well actually, now that I'm editing, I kinda don't wanna do that because I don't wanna introduce anything kinda funny. But, um, you know, I think I'm happy with this build. I hope they're gonna be happy with it um, because it, I mean, the system ain't slow. Um, again, maybe comparing it against the Ryzen 9 wasn't a good ideal um, comparison to compare it to, but I like the fact that I'm just sitting back thinking when I was doing editing, um, originally I started with a AMD FX 8320, and I remember editing that entire two and a half hour church service back in the day in uh, 24... 2013, 2014, it used to take my computer five hours to render that, um, five to six hours. So if I made a mistake, boy, oh boy, did I have a long time before that stuff was done. And now just with these new processors, I'm able to turn, I mean, even if it was going that slow, I could actually have been able to turn around that entire video in at least a fourth the amount of time. I mean, because when I went from that processor to the first generation, Ryzen 7 to 1700X, it cut my time. Yeah, it went from editing, taking it, rendering, taking about five to six hours. It did it in about an hour and a half. So um, I think we're going to have more than enough power. And honestly, yes, I am blabbing because I'm trying to let this render while I'm talking. And we're, we just passed over 83%. So this thing is about ready to be done here in a little bit. It says about 40 seconds left. So I want to see what the ultimate time would be for this. Um, and while I'm talking about that, link is going to be down below for all the parts that we did for the system um, as well. Really, really straightforward. Um, the fact that the CPU has the GPU in it, and then you're literally just sliding those NVMEs and only have to hook one drive up um, that needs power is really straightforward. So um, we're at 95%. Let's see what the ending time is here as we get closer. Let me get my tripod close here so y'all can see. Five seconds. All right, so we came in at five minutes and five seconds. So we shaved two minutes off here, rendering like that. Now I'm wondering, would I have gotten anything faster if I used the um, Radeon uh, GPU? Because you can embed that um, on here. But hey. Like I said, I'm happy with the fact that this is what I got from it. And I've really, I really honestly, not just because I built the system, but I really hope that they get a hope and I feel that they will get a good benefit out of the new system that they got because I think I remember what they were using before 
And even though this is not a fair comparison to what I'm using because I built it for productivity of what I'm doing, I think this would be a good benefit for them. And honestly, if you're any, I mean, this is going to be more <laughs> than powerful enough to run their presentation software. But now that this is done, let me actually hook up this extra monitor here and um, to the ATEM for input. But I hope they like what we're doing. Like I said, link is down below to all the parts. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'm only going to have access to the system until tomorrow, but I do have two other churches that I'm going to be building a system for, um, and then another one that I'm going to be updating for Pastor Allen. Um, I just came from, been doing a whole lot of stuff over at their church. So we got at least three systems I'm aware of that we're going to be working on pretty soon. Um, so. Let me know if you have any other questions and maybe we can see what we can do and those other systems. If you like this type of test or you want some, I mean, I'm not really good at comparison. So, hey, don't 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 um, shoot the messenger just because I'm trying to do a comparison between the two. Just trying to give you a good idea of what you could use. Uh, but, oh, I guess I need to update the time. It's not Pacific time. It's Eastern. And I think we just went over midnight. So I need to get to sleep. But anyway, um, if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we'll catch you on the next video later.